Hello and welcome to a new episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. My name is Terry White and in this episode we're going to take a look at a question I get all the time is how to create hyperlinks and buttons inside InDesign so that you can create more of an interactive document whether it's for an, an EPUB or a DPS dot or application or um, even an interactive PDF. So there are all kinds of uses why you would do this and again it's usually because your ultimate uh, end result is going to be something someone's clicking on or doing something on a screen or on a device. So let's go ahead and take a look at how to do this in InDesign. First and foremost, uh, let's start with hyperlinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the buttons away for now. And a hyperlink can be text, of course. So for example, if I go to um, My Studio and I highlight My Studio and I go to hyperlinks, I can go ahead and just create a new hyperlink right then and there. We made this as simple as we possibly could. Paste in or type in the hyperlink so I can say terrywhite.com for example and that will then take you to my studio. And notice it even gave it the familiar blue underline. That's the new style for hyperlinks which the minute you create a hyperlink you will have a hyperlink character style in your character style. So if you want to adjust the way that looks you can now for example um, here, let's go find it. Let's go to window type. Um, we want styles, I'm sorry. Styles, character styles. And there we go. There's a new hyperlink style. So now if you wanted to adjust that hyperlink style that it put in automatically, double click on it and edit it to your heart's content to have it look the way you want it to look for all your hyperlinks. Okay, so that's the way we do it for text. Uh, just highlight the text, type in the URL, hyperlinks or paste it in, hyperlinks created. All right, uh, the next thing is you'll notice is that when we um, do highlight this hyperlink and it goes to it, here, let's go ahead and check it out. And actually, let's go, and let's go ahead and change it to my website again. And I've got to delete it there. There we go. Notice that the dot turned green once I fixed the hyperlink, once I actually put in my terrywhite.com. That means InDesign just did a quick check on the internet to see if that resolved to a, a, a place. It doesn't necessarily mean it's the right URL, but if it's red, then that means that for some reason internet couldn't get to that, or InDesign couldn't get to that site on the internet, and therefore you might want to double check that URL. So I saw the red dot there, and gave me a chance to explain that one extra um, tidbit, new in uh, CC. All right, the next thing is, what if you want a hyperlink on a um, object, uh, an image? So just again, click the image, and the same thing. So if I want this to go to, that's a Twitter icon, if I want this to go to twitter.com uh, slash Terry L. White to follow me on Twitter, that will now go to that uh, site when someone clicks on it. I do the same thing for Facebook, facebook.com slash Terry White fans, and it would take them there as well. All right, so those are hyperlinks. Pretty easy to understand, just as hyperlinks would be in any other document, whether it's for text or images. Just select the text or image you want it to apply to, do it in the hyperlinks panel, and away you go. Then if those are hyperlinks, what are buttons? So let's go ahead and uh, close the character styles close the hyperlinks and let's do two things number one this is actually a video that I would want to play now um, or it could be a video I'm not sure if this particular one's a video but let's say that's a video that I want someone to play then typically they wouldn't know it's a video unless I either put a poster frame over it that denotes a play button or if I put a big play button next to it so let's pretend for a split second that this is our play button and we want it to play that video. So what we would do is we would go to our buttons and forms panel and now with that object selected we're going to say that this is a new button. And what we want the button to do again we can name it that way it'll keep track of your buttons and you'll um, you'll know what they're for at a glance. And on release or tap if you're on a mobile device I want the action to be, and here are all the things a button can do beyond what a hyperlink can do. 
So buttons can navigate your InDesign document. Go to a specific spot in your document. Go to a specific previous page, first page, last page. Yes, they can be used to go to URLs. Um, and this is also important if you're using them for um, navigation of DPS applications because there's a nav2 command that you can make a button jump to a specific uh, spot in your, uh, in your application. You can have it show and hide forms. You can have it play a sound or a video. So if I say play a video, uh, I can choose which video. But before I do that, if it's a uh, Flash or EPUB document, here are the things you can do. If it's an interactive PDF, here are the things you can do. So I'm going to go ahead and say play a video. And I want it to, I can choose which video I want it to play. There's only one in this document. And I can just tell it that it plays that video. That's it. So now I've created a button that will play the video when someone clicks on it. I need to make that button look more like a play button, but you get the idea. Now, speaking of making it look like a play button, what if I'm not that good at designing or creating buttons from scratch in Photoshop or Illustrator? Is there somewhere I can get buttons that make it a little easier? Well, there's a hidden gem in InDesign. While you're in the Buttons and Forms panel, if you go to the flyout menu for the Button and Forms panel, there's a Sample Buttons and Forms panel. When you bring that up, these are all freebies for you. You can scroll through, find the button you're looking for. Let's say I need a nice green button. Drag it onto the screen, and there's a nicely designed, pretty uh, aqua flavored button for you to pick from. There are navigation buttons left and right. Uh, let's see what else is in here. There are definitely forms buttons, check boxes, check marks, things that make your InDesign document look better without you having to be necessarily a graphics whiz to go and create them from scratch. So if I wanted to make a better play button, I could perhaps drag this one on, and then I could type the word play on it, make it smaller of course, type the word play on it, and away we would go. Um, they would have a better looking play button than just nothing. So that's it for this episode of Adobe Creative Cloud TV. Hope you learned something, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Uh -huh.